These are some of the sets that I bought the most of in 2022. Let's talk about it. G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about uh, some of the Lego set investments that I did purchase the most of. So the sets that I did go more deeper in than other sets. So we're gonna get started off. I'm gonna go over three in this video. If you want me to go over another probably three more, I, I went probably deep on about 10 sets. So if you want me to do a video covering all of them, I can leave a comment down below. But I'm just gonna start off with three. And the, uh, the first one is uh, this one. One here, Voldemort, Nagini, and Bellatrix. This is set number 40496, 344 pieces, and obviously a part of the Brickheads theme, and the sub-theme is Harry Potter slash The Wizarding World. Now, um, in Australia, this one did retail, as you can see, for $40. In uh, the US, it was $25, I do believe, in the UK, it was £22. Now, I did purchase uh, around, I think, about 19 of these sets. I haven't done the count. I do have my spreadsheet, but I need to update it because I did buy some about a month ago. But I think I'm at about 19, 20 of these sets I did purchase. Now, um, I averaged at least 20% off for these. So I paid around 30, $32. A few I know I did get half price and some I do have to still have to sell the free gift in order to bring it down to 20% off. But we'll just say um, on average, I got about 20% off. So I'll spend around 30 bucks each to $32 each for these sets. And I, as I said, I got about 19, 20 of them. Um, why did I buy these sets? Uh, why did I buy so many of them? Um, a couple of reasons. Uh, Brickhead sets um, tend to do pretty well, um, especially the the Harry Potter sub theme of sets, which I'm going to get up right now. Now, I'm on uh, Brick Economy. This isn't 100% accurate, but just to give you just a quick overview on how some of these Harry Potter Brickhead sets have performed, it just gives you a rough idea. So if we scroll down to uh, some of these ones here, we can see that the Hermione Granger Brickhead set, which was released in 2018, you can see that it has had a growth according to Brick Economy. Again, this isn't 100% accurate, but we're just going off of a um, just kind of an, a rough average. Because um, obviously, uh, you can see that it is 236% growth, and that's based off of retail on this rough value. Uh, sometimes this value is too high, so you could look at around 200%. But I'm just going off just of um, a quick estimate according to these guys, just to give you um, a rough idea. We can see that the Harry Potter and Hedwig, uh, according to these guys, 288% growth. Uh, the Ron Weasley and Albus Dumbledore, 207 And the Newt Scamander and Gellert Grindelwald, 115%. Um, and this is a promotional one here, which um, we don't really need to touch on much at all. But uh, from the evidence, you can see from this... Uh, is that the Newt's Commander and Gellert Grindelwald is obviously from the Fantastic Beasts and if we compare that to the normal Harry Potter ones, the normal Harry Potter ones do better than the Fantastic Beasts uh, Brickhead set. So if, and, uh, if we do have any more uh, like um, of the Fantastic Beasts Brickhead sets come out, um, you can see that they're not going to do as well ev as evident here by um, comparing it to the normal Harry Potter sets. So hopefully we do see a, um, a similar return on investment uh, for the Voldemort, the Guinea, and Bellatrix as these guys here. But we will see what happens. And there obviously is a couple more that um, haven't retired just yet. But fingers crossed. But that's why I did buy um, so many of the Voldemort, the Guinea, and Bellatrix. And I'm hoping that they do have that similar trend as these other ones have in previous years. Um, if we go and have a, just a quick touch on Bricklink, uh, we can see that last six month sales are around 40 bucks, So around that... Um, pretty much smack bang on retail price which for Bricklink for a set that because um, last six months obviously it wasn't retired and it only has just retired just pretty much in the last couple of weeks but that is a good figure to have a look at and the demand you can see that 39 have sold in the last six months which is pre it's all right especially for Bricklink and if we go and have a look at eBay we can see that here in Australia uh, 60 bucks which is above retail 48 above retail uh, any set that is auctioned, you're going to get less. So that is just another tip. If you are selling Lego sets, never auction them. Because yes, you will sell them quicker, but you're not going to get as much. So there is pros and cons to it. Uh, an offer was accepted for just a bit below 55. You got on here for 49 for 50. So you can see that this set is already selling for above retail on eBay. And that was another sign I did look at before purchasing so many of these sets. So those are the, um, just a couple of factors why I bought so many. Uh, the next one I'm touching on is the DC, uh, the Mini Tumble, the Scarecrow Showdown. This is at number 76239. Uh, two exclusive figures, which we'll touch on in just a minute, uh, 422 pieces. Now this one did retail here in Australia as you can see for $60. Uh, US was $40, UK was $35 I believe. Um, I bought 20 of these. I got them at $52 each. So unfortunately it wasn't 20% off but that was the best price I could get them at and 
I waited a little bit before I bought so many just in case another shop did have um, some sales on them but that was the cheapest I could get them and of course as soon as I got them the Black Friday sales comes and they chucked I think like 20 or 30 percent off this set so I missed the boat by then I had 20 and I didn't really want to get any more but it is what it is I wanted to grab them before I did miss out so I'm sitting on 20 of these at $52 each now if we go and just have a quick look at uh, the Bricklink values, we can see that last six months selling around $54, so pretty much what I paid for it, a little bit below retail, which isn't too bad. And the demand, you can see 153 have sold total, so very good. And on eBay, we can see that it is selling at the moment pretty much at that retail price, which at least is not below. So hopefully in 18 months, it will double in value. We'll see what happens. But along with this set, um, another reason why I did buy so many is it does have two figures and these figures are both exclusive. You've got the Batman suit with copper belt, spongy cape, as you can see over here, it does say item appears in one set, which means it, it is an exclusive and is selling for around 13 bucks 50. And the scarecrow in this set Again, it is another exclusive figure, and he's selling for around the same price. So nearly half of the set's value come from the figures, which is a good sign. It is that mini tumbler. It's very iconic, very collectible, so we'll see what happens. But that is another one I did uh, buy a few of. And the last one I did buy a few of is the 123 Sesame Street, so number 21324, 1,367 pieces, and it does have quite a few exclusive uh, minifigures. Here in a, um, Australia, obviously retails for $200. The US was $120, I believe, and UK £105. Now, I bought 10 of these sets, and I did get them at $155 each, which is a just slightly better than 20% off. Um, I got these from, I believe... Toys R Us, um, if I'm not mistaken. There was a chance there where you could get them for a little bit cheaper. I think it was around $135. I think that was from Target. But I did miss the boat on that, unfortunately. But I still got it better than 20% off, which is what you want to aim for. Um, usually at bare minimum anyway. So I am happy I did get 10 of them at that price. Um, so if we go and have a look at Bricklink, we can see that last six months sales selling for around uh, um, $180 on average, which is good because I um, did purchase them for a little bit cheaper than that. So already if I sold it, I'm gonna make just slightly amount of profit. Uh, the minifigures in this set, there is six. We've got Bert and all of these are exclusive as well. Uh, he's about a $10 figure. I think they're all around kind of that same price range. You've got Big Bird, who's about a $12, $13 fig. Cookie Monster, who's a, a $13 fig as well. You got Elmo, who's about $10.11. Ernie, who is about an $11.12 fig. And Oscar the Grouch is about $7. So there is a little bit of value in the figs as well, kind of around maybe that 60 buck mark for the figures, which is about, you know, about a quarter worth of the set at retail or about a third of what would I pay for it. So the figures are going to be a good factor in this set, as long as that they don't obviously re-release them into anything else. I'm just hoping that the thing that I, um, they may obviously, they may not do it, but I think if they were to re-release these figures or do a different variation, it's going to be in like the blind bag, the series. That's the only thing that worries me. I don't believe that they will ever release another Sesame Street set, at least not in the near future, which is going to affect um, our uh, 12 to 18 month investment on this set. But um, the only thing I could see that they maybe will do in the future is like um, the blind bag series, like the Simpsons one they did, series one and two. They may do a Sesame Street one. They may not. Who knows, but that is um, probably the only thing I can uh, think of which may deter from this set's future value if they do release those figures in that, which will obviously mean that the figs aren't exclusive anymore. But no news on that. We'll see what happens. I don't believe it will happen, but you never know with uh, Lego. And also why I bought the set is collectible and it is one of a kind, very iconic. Everyone pretty much knows what Sesame Street is. But those three again were I bought 19 to 20 of the Voldemort, Nagini, and Bellatrix. Uh, I bought about 20 of the mini tumblers and I bought 10 of the Sesame Streets. One, two, three. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts down below. If you want me to do another video talking about another three sets I did go more deep on than others, and if you did buy any of these sets. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.